90 Day Fiancé fans have witnessed some of the most controversial weddings on television. Over nine seasons, there were plenty of marriages that viewers thought would never happen, however, most couples have managed to say their I do's despite the drama leading up to their big day. As the show introduces new couples every season, viewers get insight into how daunting the process of planning a wedding is within such a small time frame. It doesn't help when the engaged couple hardly spent time together in person before their union. After nine seasons of in-law spats, love, betrayal, and heartbreak, with multiple spin-offs, some previous weddings still make the franchise's fans cringe. For some 90-day fiancé couples, the drama starts on their wedding day. Once the couples get married, they are free from the pressure of the U. S. Government's deportation policies, but they are not free from the marital woes that may come up after. 3. Danielle Mullins Mohamed Jabali from 90 Day Fiancé In 90 Day Fiancé Season 2, Danielle Mullins met Tunisian native Mohamed Jabali online and brought him back to her home state of Ohio so they could elope. Plenty of red flags leading up to the wedding caused Danielle's family and friends to be concerned about the pending union. Still, the couple continued to make plans and eventually made it down the aisle. The minister asked Danielle and Muhammad to kiss at the wedding ceremony, which is a traditional custom after reciting vows. Muhammad, who is no longer with Danielle, declined the kiss for religious reasons, but the guests in attendance and audiences at home watching were alarmed. It was all downhill from there, and within weeks, the couple separated. 2. Emma Hossein from 90 Day Fiancé UK 90 Day Fiancé UK, a new spin-off of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, aired its first season this fall, and it did not disappoint. Like its American predecessor, the show follows couples trying to get citizenship for their overseas partner through marriage. Fans dub Emma and Hossein Bagayi Manish the show's worst couple due to their disastrous wedding day. After the couple could not get married at the first location, they quickly found another site to exchange vows, but things got worse at the ceremony. Hossein's phone rang during the wedding ceremony while the minister was officiating, and her answered the call. Hossein, who's a part of the 90 Day Fiancé UK cast, claimed it was his mother on the phone, but Emma was reluctant to believe that. Hossein also refused to wear his wedding ring after donning it for the ceremony due to his alleged allergy to the jewelry. The couple is still together, but viewers believe this marriage will be short-lived. 1. Andre Kastravit Libby Pothest from 90 Day Fiancé Andre Kastravit married Elizabeth Libby Pothest in his home country of Moldova during 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 5. Their relationship has been a roller coaster primarily due to her siblings' disdain for Andre, who they accused of taking advantage of their father, Chuck Pothest. The hostility between Libby's husband and her siblings came to a boiling point during the couple's wedding when Libby's brother, Charlie Pothest, got on the microphone and told Andre, don't ask my dad for anything. Shortly after the awkward toast, Andre charged off to confront Charlie for his comments and made it known that Chuck also paid for Charlie's wedding. The two men came to an understanding, but the tension between the two only escalated. 90 Day Fiancé wedding mishaps do happen occasionally, however, the majority of the ceremonies are romantic and beautiful.
Despite the few wedding day disasters, no one can deny the wedding episodes are some of the best moments of the franchise. As fans of the franchise anticipate the announcement of 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, there will be more weddings to look forward to and, hopefully, less wedding day drama. Just to check it.